This is how we made uh, a functional raft out of some old milk jugs that we had collected for over a year. We collected over 90 milk jugs for this project and ended up making little packs of four milk jugs. These little groups of four were made uh, by taping the, near the bottom of the milk jugs with some duct tape and we ended up also connecting the handles of all the milk jugs with two zip ties. We wanted to have the carp on top of the two 2x6 plywood sheets that we had for this project so that we wouldn't hurt our feet on the wood in case there were splinters. We had to zip tie our carpet to the sheets instead of stapling them because the carpet was so thick that we couldn't staple them so we had to zip tie our carpet to the sheets by just drilling holes through both of them and then just putting a zip tie. Uh, we added three and a half foot support beams on both sides of the two by six sheets so that they were both together. Once we put all the milk jugs on the two 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 by six sheets, we had we realized that we had miscalculated and we actually had to make two more packs of the milk jugs. And we luckily brought extra milk jugs just in case that this happened. This would happen, and we also used some half gallon jugs to fill in the extra space that we had. We measured the height that we'd need for the support legs and the length of the joist that would go on top of all the milk jugs, and we ended up cutting four five and a half foot studs that would act as our joists on top of all the milk jugs, and eight ten inch supports that would connect the joist to the three and a half foot support beam that we had cut previously. We assembled and screwed all the studs together to make sure and making sure to put pressure on the joists while screwing them together so that the milk jugs wouldn't just come loose when we let go because there was no more pressure on them. Once we put everything together, we gave it a nice shake test to ensure everything was nice and tight. And it actually ended up floating and carried at least three people 